in a riveting podcast discussion that echoes through the corridors of the digital soundscape Mandibi unfurls her contemplations on the dichotomous paths of industry heavyweights Joe Budden and Charlie Magne Thagor. Them, no, them, go ahead. The question. Ask if me. you had to take the route, would you still be? <laughs> see, I, see, she's thought, judging me. I'm not even on that am, type of time. I'm, the hell I'm not on that type uh, of time. Go ahead. We could get into that, but no, go ahead. On some business, I say it's not. It's not really. It says more about who they are in their space, mm-hmm. and not like clickbait. But it might sound like clickbait. Whatever. If you had to, ch- if you had to choose a route to go, which one would it be? Charlemagne route <laughs> or the Joe Button route? So they're two completely different routes. Exactly. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I love everything that Charlemagne has done. Uh, Charlemagne aligning himself with iHeart. He now has his publishing company. He's done television. He knows that he has to politic a little bit. Mm. And he's getting where he needs to go. Mm-hmm. Joe, on the other hand, um, I think, and I know the word is is awful, but is more of the narcissist boss route mm. where I can do this. If anyone else can do it, I can do it, right? Um, can we say another word? Yeah, I don't, so don't, I don't know another word. That? Yeah, I don't want to get lost in that because it is two different routes. And I'm not going to lie. Joe is running an empire as his own self. Here's the difference, right? Actually, here's the difference. Scratch everything I just said. Charlemagne came up on radio. Mm-hmm. Charlemagne came up in radio, so worked with Wendy Williams, worked under corporations that he had to clock in and clock out 20 plus years before he became an entrepreneur. Mm. Joe is an artist. Mm. An artist is always for self. An artist always wants what's best for him, wants to show up in his most creative space, and actually hates and wants to pull against the the corporate uh, blueprint for how to run things, right? And so I think in the podcasting space where both of them have excelled, there still hasn't been a blueprint specifically for black podcasting. Mm. Um, where you have, you know, uh, the, the Joe Rogans and all of the white people who have been doing this for 15, 20 20- as the conversation unfolds, Mundi artfully navigates the complex landscape of the podcasting realm, offering insight into the nuanced choices that content creators face in carving their unique trajectories. Mundi's admiration for Charlemagne's multifaceted accomplishments is palpable. She paints a vivid picture of his journey, lauding his strategic alliances with industry giants like iHeart, the inception of his publishing empire and his foray into the world of television. The narrative takes a turn as Mundi delves into the political intricacies that Chalmagne has skillfully navigated throughout his two-decade tenure in the corporate echelons, a testament to his resilience and adaptability in an ever-evolving industry. Contrasting Chalmagne's strategic ascendancy, Mundi pivots to Joe Budden's distinct approach, conning it as a narcissistic boss route. Why she grapples with the loaded term narcissist, she applauds Joe's prowess in establishing a self-sufficient empire. The semantics of Mundi's exploration add an engaging layer, delving into the connotations of these descriptors in the context of entrepreneurial endeavors. As the dialogue unfolds, Mundi undergoes a subtle revision, highlighting Chalamagne's extensive background in radio and his prolonged stint under corporate umbrellas before donning the entrepreneurial hat. This juxtaposition illuminates the divergent trajectories that have shaped the careers of these two industry giants, each forging a unique path informed by their distinct experiences and skill sets. The discourse expands into the realm of podcasting, a domain where both Chal Magne and Joe have left an indelible mark. Mundi astutely observes the absence of a definitive blueprint for black podcasting, underscoring the uncharted territories that content creators of color navigate in an industry historically dominated by established figures like Joe Rogan, who have enjoyed a two-decade head start. Mundi's musings encapsulate the essence of a dynamic industry, where creators grapple with identity, autonomy, and the evolving landscape of digital storytelling. The juxtaposition of Chalamagne's corporate odyssey and Joe's rebellious artistic spirit offers a captivating panorama of the intricate dance between creativity, entrepreneurship, and the uncharted frontiers of black podcasting. In this symphony of voices, Mundi's perspective resonates as a thoughtful exploration of the diverse trajectories that define the contemporary podcasting landscape. 
The podcasting landscape for black creators is intricately woven with both challenges and opportunities, reflecting broader systemic issues within the media industry. Black podcasters face unique hurdles, and the evolving dynamics of this space bring to light several critical aspects that influence their trajectories. One significant challenge is the historical underrepresentation of black voices in mainstream media, including podcasting. The industry has long been dominated by predominantly white creators, resulting in a lack of diverse perspectives and narratives. This underrepresentation can create hurdles for black podcasters as they navigate an environment that has not traditionally catered to their stories and experiences. Moreover, systemic barriers persist in terms of access and resources. Black podcasters may encounter difficulties securing funding, partnerships, or sponsorships compared to their white counterparts. This financial disparity can limit the production quality, marketing reach, and overall visibility of black-created podcasts, impacting their ability to compete in a highly competitive space. Representation issues extend beyond content creation to audience engagement. Black podcasters often grapple with the challenge of reaching diverse audiences, as mainstream platforms may not adequately promote or feature their work. This limited exposure can impede the growth of black podcasts, hindering their potential to attract a broader and more varied listenership. The evolving landscape for black creators in podcasting is, however, marked by a growing sense of empowerment and agency. The rise of independent platforms and the democratization of podcasting tools have enabled black podcasters to carve out their own spaces, free from the traditional gatekeepers that may have hindered their access in the past. Social media has played a crucial role in amplifying black voices, providing a platform for content creators to connect directly with their audiences. This grassroots approach to audience building allows black podcasters to foster communities around their content, creating spaces where diverse voices are celebrated and heard. As the podcasting industry continues to grow and diversify, there is an increasing recognition of the importance of authentic representation. Podcast networks and platforms are gradually acknowledging the need for more inclusive content, leading to initiatives that aim to uplift and amplify underrepresented voices. In essence, the challenges faced by black podcasters in terms of systemic barriers and representation are part of a larger conversation about inclusivity and equity in media. The evolving landscape suggests a gradual shift towards a more diverse and inclusive podcasting ecosystem, but there is still much work to be done to ensure that black creators have equal opportunities to thrive in this dynamic and evolving space.